What's up guys, Gamezer and welcome back to Pro Cycling Matter 2022 for episode number 2 of season 2 of the Intermarché ou Antigobert career mode. Thank you for the support on episode 1. Uh, I'm still blown away, I mean I'm said it every episode but I am blown away by the support on this series. Uh, but today we've got the month of February upon us. Um, I've asked what races you guys wanted to see. Some of you said Vesey, some of you said Antalya, some of you said Provence, some of you said Algarve. Basically you want to see everything. Uh, so I'll record everything and see what's worth putting in the video. Uh, but hopefully we can at least have UAE and Omlo, because that was basically what I wanted to do today. And we begin in France. Uh, most of our riders are currently in the Saudi Arabia for the Saudi tour. Uh, things are going swimmingly there, which is actually quite funny, because swimmingly is not the word you think of Saudi Arabia. It's more of like a desert, so things are going sandy, but that doesn't make sense. Not many things are happening in this stage, uh, but we do have one crash, that's Guillaume Martin, and no one is waiting for the Covetis radar. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, I know it's a sprint stage, but you could wait for your leader at least. But no. Uh, did they maybe think he's going to come back on his own? Ambitious. Very ambitious from Kofidis. We've entered the final five kilometers of this stage to the shock of no one uh, except, well, everyone but Kofidis. Guillaume Martin did not come back. Uh, so he will not partake in this uh, final sprint. Vincelic is going to stop. His effort, there goes Dylan Tons, Nuvenus in the wheel with Benny Girmay. We need a, a big one here. Nuvenus is in a good position. He's going to lead out Benny Girmay. Girmay kicks out. It's going to be a win for Mathieu Van Der Poel. Yep, I expected the line to be in the, in the left hander. But it wasn't there. Stage number two, it's a plus five for driving at Sillage. Um, people have seemed to, uh, to notice him in uh, the down under, or in the first episode, should I say. Uh, so that's, that's good, that's good if people start to notice Vitsilic. He's not on any Grand Tour program thus far, but um, if there's a team time travel on one of them, he's definitely going to earn a spot. Question is on which tour? I don't know. Uh, but if he performs well today, uh, I mean, I'll have to give him more races. Well, the entire stage has been a shit show, uh, with the Peloton not pacing, then going 99, then not pacing, then going 99 again. Uh, it allowed Leonard Hofstadter. To be in the lead with 5k to go, he's in good shape. Um, he finished, I believe, third of the Saudi, of the, um, sorry, of San Luis, or at least the mountain stage of San Luis. Um, that was won by Georg Zimmerman. Big ups. Um, but yeah, he's definitely in good shape. Unsure as to whether he managed to stay ahead of the peloton because we are coming in hot in the Plateau du Castella, or Castella. Probably Castella. I don't know. Castella? I don't know. I'm French and I don't know how to pronounce a word. This is quite terrible. Uh, but yeah, 1.7k, 25 seconds still for uh, Leonard Hofstadter. On the pedals as well now. He's, he's, he's trying to go it. He's trying to do it. He's trying to do it. We'll see if Benny has uh, what it takes to just swerve through the middle. But I feel like it's going to be a second. No, it's not. It's a win for Benny Gerwig. Big ups. It's not going to be a second win for Van Apple. Benny makes it 2 out of 3 in his uh, season so far. He's quite good. Could we potentially make it 2 out of 3 in this Hotel de Vestige? Uh We'll see. It's another good day for Frank Vitsalic. Uh, it's another good day as well. It's a plus 4 for Benny Germain. Jesus. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah. We carry on winning-ish in the Saudi Tour. Uh, we haven't won in two stages. But it seems that the, the, the winning streak have travelled across continents and is now in France. So we better carry on today because otherwise I don't understand where the winds have gone. There has been a crash involving Benny Guermet. You better come back though. Uh, Vitsilic and Van Priel stop pacing. It looks like the peloton is not a dickhead. Alright, we should be able to come back. Ah, who are you? That's Janis. Well, that's a... Oh, that's a big L. That's a... That's a good buy for Janis. And the peloton has once again uh, accelerated because there has been... Another crash, that one was uh, Ethan Ata, this time the peloton uh, did pace. I uh, reckon you may come back though. Aliotti is also, uh, he got a put in place yesterday. Sh Wait, you're telling me Aliotti shelling and Ata are dropped? How oh, mad. Attack of Mathieu on Apple. When the Col de Trélis, 11k to the end, and Mathieu does not want to wait the sprint. Uh, logical, because he's most likely going to get smoked by Biniam Germay. So he's attacked with Kodkowski and uh, Marc Hirschi. Bernard tries to follow with Ryan Barguil. Uh, but we're right behind. Uh, we're, we're right behind with Benny Germay and, uh, and Clément Champoussin. We should be able to come back in a downhill and fight for the win. Mathieu goes again. Why? There's, there's 3k to go. You might as well wait for the sprint at this point. 
Uh, but I guess he, he doesn't want to. There goes Benny Germain. Mathieu has exploded Arnaud Demar. Mathieu does not hold on here, shock. It's a win for Benny Germain. Ahead of Mark Hershey and Mathieu Van Nepel. I, I don't know what Mathieu did. For a man who said he's going to try and be a bit more smart on the bike, his AI is not following that. Zero for Benny and for Clément Champoussin today for what is the queen stage of this Etoile de Bessège. Uh, so hopefully we can hold on. Uh, it's a nice climb. It's uh, the Mont Bouquet, 4.5 kilometers, uh, average of nearly 9%. So we can probably try to do things. And if Clément and Benny don't work, we've got Dylan Tunt, we've got Van Gils. But GC wise, we we'll take a quick look. Uh... Oh, wait, what? Clément lost 37 seconds yesterday. How am I then one minute down? That would be 57, and that's... Okay, no, that actually, that makes sense. Here goes the Mont Bouquet, then. Four kilometers until the summit. We've got a three-man breaker up front. That is Julien Bernard uh, Chauvet, whose name I do not know, and Claudio Imhoff from Leopard. They're going to get co-op. Uh, the frame rate has dropped um, as per usual. I mean, it's... It... I'm hoping that PCM22 is better optimized, but I don't think it's going to be. Barguilas attack with Ide Schelling, Pavel Sivakov. I mean, they're all very far in the GC. Okay, I guess 119 is not too bad for, uh, for Warren. Mathieu is still at 81 hills for Mathieu van der Poel. Jesus. That is quite tricky to manage. Clément is going to increase his rhythm even more. Try to, like, avoid the block of, uh, of Pavel Sivakov here. Actually, there was one Barguil, sorry. Because Pavel is up the road. Pavel is on his way to take the Sadrin today at the Mont Bouquet. And I may have jinxed him. Yup, as a matter of fact, I have. V very much sorry, Mr. Mr. Pavel. Sivakov. Actually, no, he holds on. I don't know. It's a, it's a confusing end, and I, because I can't see anything every two seconds, it's, it's really not helping. Sivakov wins? Yeah, okay, Sivakov wins. Ahead of Champoussin. Lorenz de Plus. Dylan Tons? Probably SP4, I don't know. I'm going to say Dylan Tons fourth. Van der Poel and probably Germay. Get in there, lovely. Vitalic begins his time trial. Uh, I mean, he's most likely going to do well on the flat portion until uh, the uh, time trial. Sorry, until the intermediate. Uh, and then he'll most likely struggle in the climb because that's usually how it goes. Uh, also, yeah, there's so many like graphics during this stage that this is why the uh, the the PC lags, I guess. Uh, so, so yeah. Should be better in like Algarve and those races because there's not much to not much to see. Intermediate coming up for Vitalic. It's P5 two seconds down on Edvard de Boas and Agon's time. That's fair enough. That's fair. Uh, Fliegen took 113, even used 50 seconds, but I didn't manage them. I did manage Vitalic and we'll see how that went. I think I'm doing quite well so far. I think, yeah, I, th I think I did well. We'll take a quick look. Across the line for Vitalic. P5. Donc ça va être un bad day for Clément Champoussin. I expected him to, uh, to, to be able to, uh, to maybe challenge with, uh, with the best today. Clearly not. Uh, Benny having 58 time trial. I feel like I've just lost the Etoile de Bessier today. Mm. Not fun. Yeah, Benny is 140 down at the first intermediate. Granted on Filippo Ganna, who has murdered this time trial. Uh, Vitsilic will finish in the top 10. Good on him. But Mathieu Van Apple is going to win the Etoile de Bessier. Uh, it's a shame because we're not even in top 5 GC. That's, that's, that's sad. Very sad for one second. Uh, Van Vilda takes it. It's fine. We, we got state wins. That, that's what matters. We're now in Algarve. Uh, we've left the Etoile de Bessier. The results of the Tour of Antalya and uh, Tour de la Méditerranée. Is that what it's called? Provence? No, wait. The one with the Chalet Renard. Tour de la Provence. There we go. Uh, we'll take a quick look after, um, well, the end of the episode. There was only one stage worth uh, showing, and I just don't want to put one random stage in the middle. Um, so, yeah, we've got a flat stage today in Algarve. I probably won't do every stage. We'll probably do the queen stage, and if there's a good one, I'll show it. Uh, but yeah, today it's all about Jesper Philipsen. Five kilometers left until we reach the uh, end in Lagos. Uh, no, we have not traveled to Nigeria. We are still well and truly in uh, the region of Algarve in the beautiful country of Portugal, uh, some place I need to visit one day. So if there's things I need to do in Portugal, let me know. I know there's quite a few Portuguese people in my comments. Uh, obrigado for watching, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 2K to go though, there goes 
Emmet Rent, Philipsen is well placed. Clemente Turini seems to be one of my challenges for the win. Uh, but Syke, he doesn't. It's a win for Philipsen ahead of Pascal Ackermann. And P3 for Emmet Rent. Or Rasmus Tela? Rasmus Tela. It is not a great day in uh, this queen stage of the Volta Valgarve between Sagres and Foya. Uh, we do have I mean, the clan of, uh, of Mal Maliao, I think that's how it's pronounced, in, in stage 5, but this is the queen stage. It is 0 for Hambranuka, who's my leader today. Uh, I was hoping only Mentes to have better than a minus 2, but no, he doesn't. Now, one key thing is that despite the zero of Van Hooker and the minus two of Mentes, I feel like I may have to go for Luis Mentes because yesterday's stage finished in a sprint, but there's a 40 second gap, I mean, there's a 30 second gap, sorry, between Luis Mentes and the rest of the peloton. So I already have a 30 second buffer. I don't know if it's going to be useful in this stage because if I don't use him as a leader, it isn't. I'm sure as to what to do right now. I need to, to think about this. Maybe the fact that I'm now 23 year old is going to give me more insight and more brain power. Uh, 3k to go. There's still more than 130 riders in the peloton. Uh, and I'm, I'm, bring, I'm being stuck right now behind Andre Carvalho or Anthony or just Ant. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're, we're fucked. We're, we're fucked. It's a shame because we've got energy. We're just, we're just fucked. Arm is going to try and come back. Launches sprint, same for Luis Mentes. Uh, the win is for Garen Thomas. I should have been up there. Like, realistically, truly, like, really and truly, I should have been in this group. It's just that I got blocked by everyone. Stage number five in Algarve, uh, before heading to the VAR and then the UAE Tour. It is the uh, famous stage of Maliao. We've simulated most of the stages since, uh, especially the time trials, where we did not do well. Shock, I know. Um, so, yeah, we're just here for the vibes, mostly. And we're going to start the clan of Maliao, uh, a clan I genuinely don't like in this game, uh, that has to be said. It, it's one of those clans where the AI just bullies me, and uh, sadly you can't really do anything, especially in um, this higher difficulty. But we move, uh, it's, it's fine. I mean, if, if I was fighting for something, I'd be pissed, but I'm not, so, so it's good. Uh, but yeah, look at just them. Overtaking me right, left, and center. Uh, I haven't used the gel. Oh no. Uh, Quinton Hammond through the middle is not going to do anything. Shock. It's a win for Geraint Thomas ahead of Davide Formolo and Nielsen Paules. Ruben Guerrero potentially top five for Quinton Hammond today. And across the line he goes for P6. I've been beaten by Anders Haaland Johansson. It's a new day, it's a new dawn, as we start the Tour du Var, uh, we are still in Algarve with uh, half the team, the other is in Var and the other half, which makes it the, the third half, huh, maths, uh, but they will be in the UA Tour, very confused as to which lineup I'm bringing to, you, to UA Tour, if I'm honest, uh, like genu genuinely, who am I bringing, Tom Dumoulin, maybe, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, probably, it's probably like the down on the lineup. Either way, uh, we've got the Tour du Bar, three days of intense racing, a stage or road race I really, really like on PCM, especially these late variants. Um, so we'll see what we can do. We've got a plus two today on Clément Champoussin. Uh, we are the, best, the big favorite and we've got the best team. So we should be able to challenge for a nice win. Uh, usually from experience, they, uh, or oh, I know that they increase their rhythm. I was gonna say about now. I mean, my timing was on point. Acceleration by Rorath, uh, we'll try to follow. I need to make sure I don't get dropped past this little ledge here, because if I do, like, I am genuinely fucked. Bargil and Serrano have attacked. That's okay, that's something I can manage. I think. And Vliegen is going to chase everyone down. Great job. Great job by, uh, by Mr. Vliegen right there. Let's use the gel on him. We're going to have the final climb towards Grasse. It is six, uh, sorry, three kilometers, an average of 6.5%. So it is a difficult climb coming up, but uh, it's a climb we should be able to master. Uh, let's put this and this. Lovely. Vegan can stop his effort. There goes Nuvenus' gel. All right, let's go. Acceleration, right? Or some uh, by movie start. Nuvenus is just blocking me right, left, and center. Nuvenus blocked me way too much. Not a big fan of, uh, of what he did, but we should be able to come back nonetheless. There we go. Clément Champoussin, round the outside, takes stage one of the Tour du Var ahead of Gianni Morscon. And Alessandro Covi. Very divergent race conditions today. Uh, we've got 
Three riders with minuses, three with pluses. Thank God for us. It's Sean Poussin and Benny with the uh, positive race days today. A stage that finishes at the Coldez. Um, so definitely a stage for Clément Sean Poussin to try and make a back to back stage win on this Tour du Var. And uh, to, to really maximize uh, the, the fitness he's had in, uh, in this month of February. We're going to start the panel to a climb of the day. The code de pay, uh, the breakaway has a 4 minute 10 lead. Okay, who's up there? Anthony Pedro is on his own. Uh, Klukas has been dropped. So has Nicolas Prodome. Victor Lafay as well, a bit more interesting. And Matteo Jorgensen. It was a good move by Movistar to send two others up front. Interesting. Uh, I mean, it looks like they've had a good tactic and not something I recall them doing in a long time. And here we go. Coldez, we've entered the final 5k of the stage. Still 1 minute for Antonio Pereiro, the Spaniard. On his way to potentially take the win, but Clément Champoussin has a very different uh, view on the situation. The gap is now 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, he's not winning. I'm very sorry. Uh, perdón, disculpe, Antonio, pero la ganador del etapa uh, está no tu. That's just not Spanish, is it? That, that, that's, that's Duolingo level one. Uh, <laughs> he's still trying to. Oh, no, no, Serrano, sorry. Uh, Warren, with a nice move. I need to reduce my rhythm because otherwise I'm going to blow up. All right, Solid 84. Van der Navella, Warren Barguil, Gonzalo Serrano, Yannou Oscon, Ben O'Connor is done. The world of the, of the Crédit Agricole has exploded. Thibaut Pino has also. Is that a fucking bird? I don't know if you've heard that, but there was, was a bird that just decided to make wild noises. I don't know why. Maybe it was to congratulate Clément Champoussin, though, on the back to back. I, it's too easy. It's, it's just too easy at this point. Final stage in France. Um, it's a minus two for Clément today. GC wise, we should be quite safe. We've got like a 40 second buffer on Warren Barguil. Um, but yeah, minus two, so things could be maybe a bit different. Uh, I may not try to, uh, to just explode everything as I would have planned to do so had I had a good race day. Right, this is a very weird stage. Uh, I sent Van Gils in the breakaway. Uh, he's got Prodom, Umba, and Corioni with him. Gap is 5 minutes, but the peloton keeps on, like, just trying to actively chase me down. Uh, but I don't really know why. I mean, I guess Umba being 4 minutes down in the GC probably helps, but if anything, I should be the one chasing, not, not them. Gap is 2.50, because the peloton is going 89. <laughs> what? Lech Nesundat's... Wait, hold up. Lech Nesundat's genuinely attacked? What the... What the fuck is on that board? Okay, interesting. Um, man like Umba is gonna get the points at the summit. Uh, Psych, it's me. Psych, it's him. I'm so confused by this race so far. Crashing the peloton. That's Gany Moscon. He was P3 this morning. Okay, that may mean that Aero stops pacing. I don't know if they had anyone ahead, but if they did, or well, they won't. Uh, no, they didn't. Okay. So the rhythm is not going to change. That's that's good to know. Acceleration. Thibaut Pinot, Kovi, Van der Nabella. No, that's a move I'm going to have to follow-ish. Just going to make sure that I don't get massively dropped by them. That's that's really all that matters. Uh, as long as Bargate is still here as well, I think I'm in a good position. Van der Nabella counterattacks. He's one minute down in the GC. Could he potentially try to change the uh, GC? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. In the meantime, Umba has attacked to get the mountain points yet again. And he's most likely going to get them. Psych, this time it actually was me. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm going to get Mountain. I think... Um, I would say Prodom probably gets them. But I don't know, because he seems to have disappeared. Also, Van Label in the downhill portion. And no one is chasing him. No, Van Gils is Mountain Leader. Get in there. Van Den Abel, um, uh, has fire in his legs today. Because he's attacked again. This time with one Bargill. Okay. Alright, no panic. We're still leading so far. Bargil came back on um, on Van Gils. Ooh, gap is a lot more than I had uh, hoped. Yeah, yeah, we need to change that. We're going to have to change that. Umba's going to take the win today. Alrighty, let's go, Benny. Benny win needs to pull a massive, massive comeback here. There goes Clément Champoussin. There goes Van Gils. Santiago Umba takes the win in Blozac La Pointe. Ahead of sadly Warren Barguil. Gap was 41 seconds. I think I should be good. 
Easy. Class. Lovely. Right, I give myself a bit of a challenge. That was the point. Final uh, race of this episode. We've got seven stages here in the UAE. Uh, I'm going to have to rush it because otherwise the episode is going to be about 73 days long. And uh, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't really have the envy to do this. Like, I'd like this series to be shorter than Stranger Things. So we're going to have to rush. Uh, but yeah, Tom Dumoulin is ended here with Sako van der Horn, Stanislav Anjolkovsky. So it's basically my down on the team. Which is also my jury team. Final five kilometers of this first stage uh, between Madinat Zayed and the Madinat Zayed 3k, and uh, it's all for Anulkovsky today. Some trains have already started their efforts on the left hand side of the road. We're going to try and go through the middle, thread the needle. Perfect, lovely. Sako van der Horne has destroyed everyone. Aha! See, I, I didn't see that happening. Jakob Nizer takes the win ahead of Sarah Jakobsen and Honevian. I didn't think. Taco would bully us. That's, that's a mistake on me here. Yeah. Stage number two, it's a zero for Anjolkovsky today, so I'm uh, not looking forward to the final sprint. Four kilometers left. Harry Sweeney, Van der Rohe, Pascal and Anjolkovsky, the exact same train as yesterday, except this time I'm going to try and like not lose. Which is going to be difficult, but we'll try our best. Uh, there goes Taco Van der Rohe. Alright, can you like not destroy Pascal and Anjolkovsky this time? Oh, it looks better. It looks better. It seems that. Our Polish friends are held on a lot better. It, it, it's a win. It's a win for Anjolkovsky today. What else do you want? It's time for the time trial. Uh, we'll only do two riders, Aransman and, uh, and Tomo Dumoulin. A good day for Aransman, plus two today. Uh, we'll see how to manage this time trial, but it's purely flat uh, and it's quite short. So I don't really know how I'm going to do this. I feel like I'm not doing great. The cross line for Timon Aransman. 17th, 20 seconds behind Apenny. Taco has an unreal form. He's had plus 5, plus 4, plus 5. Tommy Dumoulin, though, disappointing. Minus 1 today. And across the line he goes, not even top 20, 19 seconds behind Apenny. Same time as uh, Arantzman. Zero for Tommy Dumoulin. As we head towards uh, DJ Baljais, disappointing. Disappointing for Tom. Expected better. Uh, plus 3 for Arantzman, though. Could we see a leadership change? We may. We genuinely may. It's quite badly positioned at the very beginning of, um, of this climb. Wait, Lo Wait, Lorenzo got a plus one in the hills. My guy, come on. Uh, but yeah, quite badly positioned. I'm why am I this... Wait, 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 why am I this slow? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pacing 83 to try and come back at the front. One kilometer done. <laughs> Adam Yates already attacks. Good. I mean, the good, the good thing is going to stretch the peloton and it should allow me to come back. What is this dumbass rhythm by Omar Feiler? Also, why is Friday pacing? You've got Bernal just up the road? I'm so confused. Also, why is this handle? What, what is this? Is it the same on everyone? It is, I just hadn't noticed it. Bam. Uh, Alright, 4k to go until the summit. We're going to use the Jalan Rota. And we are going to get dropped right there. Lovely. Bernal wins ahead of Lopez. Almeida, yes, yeah, good job. I was way too focused on the end. I didn't even commentate anything. Uh, yeah, no, ridiculous one. Ridiculous. We we got shot on. Back on more uh, flat terrain, although we do have the Hadadam at the end. The plus four of Timar Aratman could potentially be used today. We'll see. But we need to do something because we're now ninth. 124 down on Lopez. Uh, if, if I want to do anything in this general classification, I, I can't afford to lose any more time. We've got a few attacks here, uh, mainly by, uh, by Martin Lass. Why? Maybe setting up uh, Schachmann, I'm gonna guess that's, that's the case. Probably setting up the German. Uh, but 3.5k to go until the end here in Atadam. Sweeney still leading Dumont Avantman in the wheel. There goes Thomas Pipcock, Van Barle, good. Lot of riders trying to uh, seize up uh, a move to be in the best possible position at the very beginning of the dam. But there goes Harry Sweeney, followed by Tom Dumoulin, or in this case Tom Damoulin, but it's more of a damn you're slow. And we're going to get blocked by so many riders. Timon cannot find a way through. But Tom Dumoulin can. Tom Dumoulin gets the win. So it is Tom Dumoulin today. Passage of this UA Tour. It is Timon Arensman that will try to lead the team. Tom Dumoulin has a good day. All right. Mm. Hmm. Oh, joy good. Tom Arensman now. Wait. <laughs> 
Oh, I don't know. Guess we'll advise uh, as the time comes. And there begins the uh, final climb of this UE tour, Jebel Hafit. Uh, or Jebel Hafet, if you have to pronounce it correctly. We've got a two minute gap for the breakaway. Remy Cavagna, Kamil Malaki, and Josef Cerny. Meanwhile, for us, I still don't know who I'm going for. I have to go Tom Dumoulin, don't I? Just because it's Tom. Yeah, fuck it, we're going Tom Dumoulin. I've made my decision. Already some moves at the front. That's Schachmann trying to uh, seize up a little attack here. Yeah? Lovely from him. Uh, but I don't really care. Timana Hansman really doing good work. Uh, I think he could have been my leader, if I'm being honest. Uh, Schachmann on his own at the front. Doing quite well. 40 seconds on this group. Is Schachmann going to take the win? Should have had. I, I should have potentially followed his attack yeah, at this point. Oh. Shit. Well then. Um, let's make sure that I don't get blocked here, yeah? which I feel like I'm going to end up being blocked. Lopez or Schachmann for the win. It is Miguel Angel Lopez that wins for Bora Alpesin ahead of Egan Bernal. Maxi Schachmann. No, Mikel Landa, sorry. Tom Zuma ends up P4. Schachmann P5. Peders go to Marco Woods. Joa Meda, blah, 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 blah. Quite a lot of riders. I mean, we, we may enter the top 10 today. And did we do? It's going to be P8 for Tom Dumoulin. Uh, a bit disappointing. And we're on the way for the Omelope Head News Blatt. Uh, did I forget this race took place? Yep. Maybe. I may have done that. Uh, but Sven Erik Westrum, Emmet de Rent, Benny Girmay mainly are our leaders for the first Belgian Classic of the season. We're getting quite unlucky so far in this, um, in this Omelope um, because both Sven Erik Westrum and Jasper Philipsen had punctures. Uh, wait, Benny got. Oh, uh, who are you? Jordi Meus. He's just blocked me and dropped me by 30 seconds. That's just not nice. That's, that's just not really nice now, is it? Shit. All right, Benny's going to come back, though. Thanks to a massive effort by Kerben Tyson, Benny Girai is back in the first group, but the energy level is drastically low in a, a peloton of only 25 riders led by Marco Halla. Okay. I think Nuvenus and Emé de Rent are going to be my leaders today. Start of the Capel Mur. We've got the, uh, we've got Wovonor right next to us, the new leader of Lotto Nippo, filled with, is that Mathieu? Mathieu with Egon Servo, Wovonor with Lotto Nippo, Nils Polit, with Boral Pessin and Zdenek Stibar, with Mape Quickstep, the new era of cycling is well and truly upon us and they have dropped us. Well, the new sponsors will be happy because they've made the correct move, buying into these teams. Uh, all right, Benny has the one, Benny needs to base. Realistically, he's the one with the least amount of energy, and uh, yeah, he needs to pace. When the bus bag, oh, it's a puncture for Yanni Moscon. Oh, that's terrible. That is terrible luck for Yanni Moscon. Um, we've crossed the summit of the bus bag, and we are 20 seconds behind the first group. The winner of the Omelopet Newsblad is wow, Matthew dropped everyone. Can we ever come back? Though he's the fastest sprinter, Nils, Pol Nils Polit. Nils Polit. Okay, well, do we have the first blatant L of the season? Yep, Mathieu Van Epel rose his arm, it's a win for Van Aert. Gets in there. Uh, we're gonna get jumped by uh, Vermeer and Jonas Rouch. Ah, okay. Alright, end of this episode. Very, very massive episode. Um, what did we do? Uh, Alright, so Saudi Tour, uh, we, we got three stages. This is, you saw it. Tour de Provence, you didn't see it, we got one stage. With Clément, I think. Uh, wait. Yeah, yeah, we got we, we got like one or two stages, uh, and we got second of the GC. Antalya, we won three stages, uh, but sadly not the GC. Tour du Val, you saw it. Algarve, you saw it, except one stage that I won a sprint one, and we've won the Far Classic Classic right now with Georg Zimmerman, which I didn't see. So uh, we already have quite a few wins. As a matter of fact, we've got 26 wins. On the 26th of February. Yeah, good start. Good start. Right, this was probably the biggest episode we'd have uh, content-wise because there was way too much to pack in. Next episode, we'll have Paris and Tirino. Should be a bit more calm. Uh, maybe even San Remo, if I feel like it. And um, yeah, then we'll go back to the usual Catalonia and the Belgian classics. Blah, 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 blah. You know the drill. All right, I hope the episode wasn't too long. Uh, I'll see you very, very soon for some more Intermarché Wanty Gobert. Uh, also, end of the week, start of PCM 2022. So I need to think of a career. Uh, so, so yeah, enjoy. Uh, but I'll see you soon. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. Bye.